Hi everybody. Well, welcome to the third installment of Focusing with an Automatic Focuser. In the last episode, I calculated the backlash using the method that ZWO recommends. In this installment, I'm going to use a capture program and have it do an automatic focus first off without using the backlash values and then I'm going to do it with the backlash uh, values that we determined uh, prior and see how it does its automatic focus routine. My name is Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Oh, hello everyone. I'm in Astrophotography Tool APT, which is my program I use. I love it. But in order to do this other thing, I'm going to use Nina. And let me boot it up. Nina is a great program. It uh, does many of the same things that Sequence Generator Pro does. And I think this will end up giving Sequence Generator Pro a run for their money. Now, why am I not using Nina, well, as I said, I still love APT, but APT doesn't have a good focus, autofocus routine, or at least in my opinion. I mean, Nina does more things. Now, I'll show you some of the things it does, but I'm still using, I actually, I end up using both programs, but I don't want to go into any of that stuff right now. I just want to show you how to do the, man, the focus graph and see if we can measure the, um, the backlash. So, first off, I... I already connected up my camera and Nina as well, and I'm going to press image, and it's not showing me anything yet because I don't have this thing depressed. Put it on filter, and I'll put it on, on current. I've got it on my luminosity filter, and I'm going to take five second exposures, and I'll turn it on. Okay. And you'll see it's not great right now. Let me. Okay, here it is. Now I've got this is Denimbola, and it's it's somewhat focused right now, but it's not fine focused. Okay, one of the things before I get started, let me show you what one of the things Nina can do. If I press this button right here, it tells me the number of stars that are visible that are that it sees. And it also gives me the HFR, the average HFR, and that's what SG uh, Sequence Generator Pro does. APT doesn't do that. It does it. It does it on one star. You focus on one star. That's why I like th this method a little bit better because it does the average of all the stars or all the stars it sees. Okay. So I'm going to do a, the automatic focus routine, but before I do that. I'm going to go into Options, Equipment, and I'm going to go to my Automatic Focuser, Advanced Settings, and I'm going to turn off the backlash. Remember we measured the backlash already? I think we said it was 90 or 100 last time. I'm going to turn it off, so pretend it doesn't have any backlash, which is preposterous. And I'll go back to that imaging screen. And now I'm going to do the autofocus. Okay, here goes. Oh, and here's the HFR reading. It's 7.31 currently. Okay, well, we're done, and look at this terrible looking graph. Well, I, actually, this part of the graph looks really good, and look what the HFR value went down to. It was started off at, remember, we started at like 7, and now it's, uh, the, they said right here, 2.37. That's the ideal back, uh, that's the ideal HFR value that I can get. And what happened over here? This was backlash. Now, I don't, it sort of started off like it was going to work, but then it, it 
fizzled out right here and it was leveled from here. Where it's level, that's your backlash. Now remember we said, we determined it was about 90 or 100. Look at the values here, 600 to 700. So that's about 100. So it's measuring the backlash. Now we can do this several more times to really hone in on that backlash and see if it's for real. Okay, let's do it again. And this time I'm gonna go back and change it and put the backlash values in there and see if we get a, uh, a better curve so it doesn't have all this mumble jumble in it. Go back to focuser and we'll just put down 90 and 90. Well, by the way, my step, my autofocus step size is 40. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, we'll go back to imaging and we're going to start it again. Okay, and now you can see we got a nice looking curve here, much better than that one that we had before. And that's because I put the backlash values in there. So backlash is critically important. And that is something I never measured early on. And if you hope to use an automatic focuser, you better have your backlash values uh, in there. So it's that's how important backlash is. Okay, and I think that's all I wanted to show you for this video, as I said, uh, Nina is a good program. If you want to learn a lot about Nina, I would advise you uh, to go to Queeve, the lazy geek in Japan. He he's he's got really good videos, really short and to the point, less than fifteen minutes. And if you watch me, though most of my videos are the same way, less than fifteen minutes. But um, if you want to learn about APT, follow me. If you want to learn about Nina, follow Queeve. Oh, also, before we leave, the current HFR value is 2.59. And we see when we did the manual focus, or I mean, I'm sorry, when we did the automatic focus, it said the it could go down to 2.5. That's because it, it, it can't really get that low. It's because it's down here. That's the optimal. But it's running at 2.6 now. Remember what it was running originally? It was running way up in the what was that, seven. And um, so this value isn't too much different than what it did when it did the automatic focus without the backlash set. So anyways, here's the current uh, HFR value at 2.68, 2.5. So it's jumping around a little bit. Let's see what this thing looks like when I put a button off mask on here. Oh, not too bad. Let's do one to one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, I guess it looks pretty good. What do you think? Okay. In some of my next videos, I'll show you how I use both Nina and APT, how I can monitor my focusing while I'm imaging using Nina, while I'm imaging in APT, that is. Hopefully someday maybe APT will have some a feature like this in built into it because that would really be really be great because I really love APT. So anyways, we'll see you later. Yeah.